WasteQuip's Galbraith brand loaded container handler, or LCH, provides safe transport of loaded containers at highway speeds. Dual rails that allow the container to sit level on the chassis and a center of gravity in front of the rear axles enables safe transport of loaded containers. Hey, we brought the show to Waste Expo in Las Vegas. So stop down at the curb on the strip for more. Hello, this is Waste and Recycling News Editor John Campanelli, and we're live at Waste Expo. Actually, there's only about 15 minutes left in the show. People are packing up their booths, and we've seen a lot of stuff here, and I got a lot of footage. But today, kind of one of the highlights of the week, I got to see one of these new Roto Press trucks. I have one upstairs in the exhibit hall, and I got a little tour. Take a look. Okay, what we see here is a uh, Roto Press from Faun. It's a European proven technology uh, garbage truck. It's a uh, uh, different kind of rear loader we see here. Uh, the concept of the water press is pretty simple. We have a big drum which turns and moves the waste to the front end of the drum. With this turning the drum fills up from the front end to the rear end and only then the drum compacts the waste. So maybe we can go back to the rear end. I will show you what we will do there. And when the waste coming from the front end of the drum reaches the water press, it is moving over the screw and thereby it's forced to, to go back into the drum. This means that the waste is compacted only at the last portion of your tool. And this is a big advantage of the water press. It means you have less moving parts, less than 10 moving parts compared to a pickup plate machine where you have much more moving parts. It means you have less dead weight of this body. So it means you have one metric ton more payload approximately. And how many of these are on the, on the road in the United States right now? In the United States there are only several running at the moment, but it's a proven technology from Europe. Uh, we build these units since more than 80 years and more than 35 units, thousand units have been built so far. So it's a really proven technology and really efficient. So 10, 20 years, are we going to see it uh, on, on every street in America? We hope. Hopefully yeah. we can. <laughs> yeah. So don't be surprised if you see a roto press driving down your street sometime soon. Earlier in the week, the week has been marked by a couple things. We've had a new leadership in the industry group. There's been a lot of merger and acquisition excitement, it seems to be. We'll find out, I guess, in the coming weeks. And lots of activity on the floor. Everybody's seeing more than average. Uh, earlier in the week, uh, Susan Epps became the third woman inducted into the EIA Hall of Fame. And I got the chance to pull her aside and chat a little bit about what the honor meant to her. Take a look. It's a wow moment, you know. I know that's not, you know, that's an Oprah thing, but, you know, it's a wow moment. And I was totally surprised because it's such an honor to be in that distinctive class of people. I've seen those people being inducted for years, and it's amazing. Did, I mean, they, did they call, did they give you, like, you got, like, a call one day? And, how did it go? Please tell I me. Got, I got a call. Somebody nominated me, and, and then I got a, a letter that said that I had been inducted into the Hall of Fame. And it was like, you know, you get this letter in the, you know, in the mailbox, and you're like not thinking too much. And all of a sudden, it's like, wow, I'm inducted to the Hall of Fame. I mean, am I, in, am I that old? You know? One of the big themes of Waste Expo was the departure, the retirement of longtime EIA CEO Bruce Parker. Well, I got his counterpart at SWANA, John Skinner, Trying to give his thoughts on Bruce and a little bit about the solid waste industry. Have a look. You are the boss of Swana. No one's the boss of okay. Swana. <laughs> so the, mem the members are the boss of Swana. Tell me, we're here at Waste Expo, day one, MGM Grand. Tell me, give me the state of the solid waste industry right now. Well, first of all, I would like to uh, say congratulations to Bruce Parker on his retirement. He has been in his position uh, for as long as I've been in my position, and we've, we've been good friends and good colleagues. We haven't agreed on everything, but we always respected each other, and I wish him the best as he moves on uh, in, in his retirement. The, the biggest issue that I see in the solid waste industry is that we're going through a transition. We're going through a transition from a waste management industry to a resource management industry. And that has implications all the way up and down the line. SWANA members are beginning to think of themselves as suppliers of materials and energy as well as, or in some cases, instead of, disposers of products. 
So it's been a long week, an exciting week, met a lot of people, learned a lot of things, but right now, Curbside Live is uh, running on fumes. So what we're gonna do is have one last look. We can't leave Vegas without having one last look at the sights and sounds of Waste Expo. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next week at the Curb. Radius is pretty poor, apparently. Right. Awesome.